So throughout this week, we've been looking at the reasons, but why would we have a conversation with God or begin this practice of journaling conversations with God? Today's lesson really drives home a personal point for me. So he can be part of your life. So he can be deeply part of my life. And and for me, uh, this has been an interesting journey and observation for me because when I'm honest with my own relationship with God is I've always kept God at a distance, that I would see him as a boss or as a drill sergeant or, or someone that's out there who may be lording it over me and looking down on me, who I come in and go, yes, sir. And, and I haven't actually allowed him deep within the core of who I am, that I don't want to appear weak before him. I don't want to be an inconvenience to him, that I that I don't want to burden him or disappoint him. And the list goes on. All of those things have prevented me from truly allowing God to be deeply integrated into part of my life. And today's lesson was, was one of these things of where it's like, that is too good to be true. My heart and my soul yearns for it, but something in my mind is, is almost like fighting against it, going, no, 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 pr- protect yourself against that because that is too good. There's no way that God would actually want that for you. And so I invite you to download the notes for this one because in the notes, there's a story from Pastor Ray's life in which God showed up in his life and spoke very tenderly and intimately to him. And when I read that story, I, I, I wept. I, I, I was just weeping, kind of thinking... That's so small, it's so trivial, and yet it's so intimate, and it's so caring. Could God really want to be that way with me? And it just unearthed all kinds of resistances and walls I've had up in my heart and my soul towards the true nature of God caring deeply for me. So in in closing out from this one, uh, just seeing the nature of God, I I really want to encourage you to download the notes for this one and go through the exercise at the end there of Psalm 121, in which you allow the Lord to speak to you in that, because Psalm 21 is an incredibly rich psalm where it has uh, words of wisdom, words of rebuke, words of encouragement, words of hope, protection, caution. Everything can be found in Psalm 121. And so I I just invite you to, to quietly and prayerfully engage with Psalm 121 and ask God, what would you say to me in this? And then when you start that conversation, have your pen and your paper ready, or you, you start off by putting your initial and then just write down a question for God and then be ready there to uh, have God fill in the blank for you. So I hope that this is a, a wonderful encouragement for you to truly see the loving nature about who God is, not how he loves you deeply and he wants to be intimately in your life. God bless you and have a great day.